Hello and welcome to the Red Dice Diaries. This is just a short tutorial video as requested by Caius Wallen describing how you can set up a screen overlay in XSplit that links in to a Discord account. Now this tutorial does assume that you have at least basic proficiency with XSplit and with Discord. So let's jump into it and crack on. First of all, make sure that you have your XSplit and Discord windows open. I'm using the app version of Discord here, but it should work just as well with the browser version. Open up your favorite browser window. I'm using Chrome here. Then navigate to the Discord stream kit. I'll put a link to the URL below in the description of this video. Click on the button that says install for XSplit. You should then see this screen. In the server drop down box, select the Discord server that you wish to use. You can tweak the dis various display settings as you see fit, as shown on the screen now. There is a preview window on the right hand side of the screen that will let you keep track of any changes that you make. Once you're happy with the layout, click on the link underneath the preview window and press Ctrl C or right click and copy it to your clipboard. Open up your XSplit window, click on Add, select Other. and then web page URL. Now paste the link from the Discord stream kit into the box that appears and click OK. If you've done this correctly, you should now see the linked Discord overlay appear on screen. Repeat this for the chat widget and the voice widget using the Discord stream kit as desired. You can rearrange the layout of these items in XSplit as you see fit. Now to add your Roll20 window onto the screen, first of all open up Roll20 on your browser window. Select to join the relevant game and wait for the Roll20 window to load. Once your Roll20 window is opened, use the zoom and scrolling functions to position the window so it looks how you want it to appear on screen. Then open up your XSplit window again. Go to Add, Screen Capture, then click and drag a box over the part of your Roll20 window that you want to be shown on your XSplit screen. You should now see a screen capture of your Roll20 window on XSplit. You can resize it and reposition it as normal using the various XSplit functions as shown here. Once you're happy with your layout, you can add a background using the media file option and just selecting a graphics file on your computer. Use whatever you think is appropriate. I'm just looking through a few of my pictures here. 
and there we go I've got one of my old blog backgrounds there which is nice and generic I'll use that so I'm just going to drag that onto the screen resize it using the various tools provided by XSplit that's me holding down alt and resizing to effectively crop the image and once I've done that I'm going to move it to the background it's important when recording or streaming your game that you make sure the Roll20 window you have is kept maximized in the background of your computer screen since if you minimize it it will disappear off your XSplit window. Your games can be recorded locally, streamed to Twitch, to YouTube or a number of other different options available within XSplit. So there we are, that was just a quick tutorial showing how you can use the Discord Stream Kit and XSplit to create a screen overlay for your games that links in to the Discord account that you may be using. I hope that's been useful to you all and I hope that's what you're looking for, Caius. Until we see you next time, take care and happy gaming.